foodscape take over. If anybody asks, we call it permaculture. Planting seeds, we secure our family's future. What you give is what you got from the roots and up. What you give is what you got from the roots and up. What you give is what you got from the roots and up. Yeah. Aloha, Erica with Hip Ag, and in this episode of Patty Burgers, I have a very special guest, Alohi, another mom here at the farm. Hi everybody, I'm Alohi. I'm a mom of five, and I really enjoy cooking for my family. I don't have a lot of time, so I like to find things that are easy, nutritious, and delicious. So with this recipe, we really have done this a lot when we have a lot of kalo at one time, or a lot of ulu, and we need to be able to store it. And this is a great recipe that can be put in the freezer, and brought out for later. So what we have here already is some grated cooked taro, or kalo, three cups of it. And we're gonna be mixing in all sorts of spices and some other things to just form it into some nice, easy vegetarian patty burgers. We're gonna add in a cup of ulu. And this was just steamed and ground up ulu. Next, we're gonna be adding in a teaspoon of salt at least, maybe sometimes I like a little extra. We're gonna add in some extra veggies to make it a little bit more nutritious and colorful. So we have a couple carrots in here, grated up already. You could do beets, people do beet burgers if you're wanting to include a different type of veggie, grated up zucchini if you have that. Even pumpkin could work in this as well. But we love, I love green onions and fresh um, herbaceous stuff. So we're going to add a nice handful, I think this whole thing of green onions. So Aloki, what do you like to put into your patty burgers? I like to put a lot of spices in my burgers, mm -hmm. um, just knowing the health benefits of each spice. Mm -hmm. I like to make sure that my kids are getting all those health benefits. So I just put in a few small teaspoons of olena powder or turmeric powder. We're going to add in some coriander powder. We added salt. We added in some garlic powder too. If you have garlic or onion powder, this is great. To add a little bit more protein, you can add in some seeds. Sunflower seeds are high in protein and really available. I already had this macadamia nut and oats ground up from a previous recipe, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I had on hand. So adding in more protein is really great. And some nuttiness and um, breaking up the starch a little bit. I got this fresh rosemary right here already that we harvested yesterday. So I was thinking we can add this in mm -hmm. as well. Rosemary is one of my favorites. Other things that we could put in here is some fresh thyme or sage, anything savory. I love paprika powder. All of these things could be really great. If you need to keep things simple because your children are picky, use the things that you know your children will accept and like. And you know, there's so much flavor as it is in the Kalo and Ulu, it doesn't need a lot. Yeah. But this is really the way that we can add the extra antioxidants yes. and bioflavonoids that might be and the fresh herbs. And now to help bind it together, when it's really warm and sticky Ulu or Kalo, you know, I don't think we need the egg, but we're gonna mix in the egg here to help bind everything together. So when we go to form it, it sticks well together. A vegan substitute instead of egg to help bind things together is chia seed. You can grind it up and soak it in some water and it acts as an egg substitute. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to form them into patties while the cast iron is getting hot. And you know, a lot of the things we do is just really getting our hands in there and mashing it up. And I think a food processor could do this process for you, but this is again, something that the kids can help do. Kids love slime these days or Play-Doh, and this is something that's like that. Yeah. So just grabbing a ball here, smashing it in my hand, and then I just kind of press it down. If things are falling apart and still not sticking together, maybe just add another egg or a little bit more, something that's gonna act as a binder there. When ulu and kala are going off and we have a crop, we have a whole bunch that we have to figure out what to do. And we want to make sure nothing goes to waste. We share our abundance. And also what's helpful is doing something like this and freezing it and having it for later. Yeah. Just pull it out, even when they're frozen and heat it up right there on the skillet. Stove top. Or we can bake it. When I serve, you know, 10 to 20 people, 
I just bake it on a baking sheet in the oven and turn them over once, put it back in the oven, mm -hmm. and then we keep going. All right, I think we have enough to start cooking them up. All right, now it's time to put our patties onto a hot griddle, a cast iron, or again, we could have baked them if we're cooking up a bunch, but stovetop is easier and it doesn't heat up my house. And we're gonna cook them on each side for about three minutes or until it gets golden brown on each side. Let's try it. Mm. Super good. Mm -hmm. Really easy. My kids would love that. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this cooking video and take it into your kitchen. Aloha. Well, my love, don't you know that you feel it, don't it show? Then inside, sometimes it's like about to explode and overflow with happiness. With you to know I feel so blessed just to be in the presence of such a precious and present. Feel overwhelmed sometimes, I think of a thousand runs, but none of them can come with the poetry in your eyes. I'm not surprised it took no time to realize I need you right by my side. Oh, yeah.